Yo, it's Lux from Server Pro, and welcome to this tutorial in which I'm going to show you how to install and use the iPortal plugin. This plugin allows you to create custom portals that teleport you to any location you want. This can either be a different location in the same world or another world, or even another server if you're running Bungie Cord. We have a separate tutorial for you on how to use this plugin with Bungie Cord which I'll link in the description below. To install iPortal, head over to the plugin section, go over to the spigot tab over here and type in iPortal. Install the version that is compatible with your server and restart it, and then you're done. I've also got Multiverse installed to show you how it works between worlds as well. Once you're in game, you can use the iPortal help command to get a list of commands that are available. To create a portal, you need to get the wand, type in slash iPortal1 to get one. With this wand, select the one corner of the portal and then select the opposite corner. Then type in slash iPortal create, then the portal name and then the type of portal you want it to be. There are three types, which is a normal, of course this is the normal one which teleports you to a location, bungee, and then random. The random one will teleport you somewhere randomly within a specific set of coordinates. Let's firstly create the normal one, just like so. Now it's created, we need to set it where we want the destination to be. Firstly, go over wherever you want it to teleport to. I'm going to TP over to a different world since I have two worlds on this server. Now that I'm in position that I want the portal to teleport me to, type in a slash iPortal set to and then the portal name and that will make it teleport to this location once you walk through the portal. So let's quickly go back and test that. And as you can see, once I walk through the portal, I get teleported exactly where I was standing earlier. Don't forget, you can use this to teleport anywhere in any world. Now you can also make custom shaped portals. Let's create one right here. Again, select the opposite corners of where you want the portal to be. Doesn't matter if it goes outside a little bit. Now this time, I'm going to make this portal a random portal, which means that it will teleport us to a random location within some coordinates. Type in slash iPortal create, then a portal name, which has to be different, and then random, which will create the random portal. As you can see, it's made a portal, but it's outside of the frame. So let's just quickly break everything that's outside of the frame. Now you can set where the portal will teleport to. We'll need to specify a maximum coordinate from 0, 0 that the portal will able to teleport us. For example, anywhere within 100 blocks of 0, 0. To do this, type in slash iPortal, set to, then the portal name, and then 100. Now, when I walk through, it will randomly teleport us within the set coordinates. There are other commands like toggling portal functionality and refreshing a portal if it's broken, but you can find those on the plugin page, which I'll link in the description. Apart from that, I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any plugin suggestions, leave them down in the comments below. And if you're having any issues with anything, contact our support team. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.